we are working on a just your conventional rear end housing for a semi truck. Um, we're going to jump over on this other end and we're just going to take a peek how the friction weld, uh, how they put a, a spindle on in the in the process of building. Um, they call these two little ears here the ram's horn for the way it's friction welded together. A friction weld is where they clamp the rear end housing in a vise and they spin the spindle at a high rate of speed and with tons of pressure coming together uh, creates friction and it creates that weld and that's how they originally are put on. Now obviously we're here today talking about threaded spindles and the way we do it. So on this, on this opposite end, this one here has been threaded and it makes a really nice repair. And if by chance this was ever to go down in the future, you can come in with a four inch disc grinder, cut this weld, screw the spindle out, clean up the face, and put another one right back in its place and it works very nicely. Uh, we have a lot of meat that goes up in past the brake spider. We have noticed on dump trucks and some of the uh, concrete trucks that are real bad about breaking the rear end housing where the spring saddle is. If we stiffen this up a little bit, they're no longer breaking those rear end housings in those areas. So not only is it a, a nice sweet repair, it also is get, adding more strength to the end of the housing and they're not cracking them. And uh, not only that, if you ever had one go down, you're able to replace it.